sees it. You're deluding yourself into thinking you've got my whole life figured out in a couple of hours. This is why I hate the idea of condensing. <laughs> the audience gets a bunch of fucking highlights and think they know everything. I need you to watch like an editor, Ben, not another fucking audience member turned IMDb critic. Okay, okay, and I don't think you should be jumping to conclusions about how to start the film when you haven't even seen all the footage. I know, you're right. Just be patient. <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> it's cool. I asked for your opinion, but really, I should wait. I made some coffee. You want some? Um, yeah, sure. No sugar? Just black. Ken Evans. Wait, Ken Evans is Libby's father? 
he represents everything I hate about documentary filmmaking today. <laughs> Granted, he made a couple of decent films early in his career. After that, it was all shit. He started turning out these sellout series for HBO, and now Libby, she's trying to turn my film into a fucking grad school thesis project. Excuse me. I know you went to Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> <laughs>
and lunatic. And then there's the stuff of your father before he died, plus the stuff of your family coping after his death. What's the fifth? The fifth is all the footage of you on your own, where we see how affected you are by your father and his eventual death. So, so we have two choices. Either we start cutting the strands one by one, or else we condense all the material, maintaining the integrity of each strand only in a shorter version. So it's just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Heart of, Heart of Darkness? No, what is it? It's a novel. A novel, you mean a book? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so did you see Apocalypse Now? Wait a minute, Pop. Heart of Darkness was the documentary that Coco's wife came about the making? No, that's Hearts of Darkness. She took the title to book that the film is based on. Hearts of Darkness is based on Heart of Darkness? <laughs> no. <laughs> Apocalypse Now was. It's based on. It's confusing. Never mind. What's your point? So, you know how the whole thing is about Martin Sheen going up the river? And he has a fucking heart attack and they have to stop filming? Right, but I mean, it's all about getting to Kurtz, the Brando character, who's got orders to kill. So he finds out Brando's like 500 pounds, and Coppola's like, oh shit, I just paid this guy a million bucks, and he's a fucking walrus. Yeah. And then it's not working, learn learning his fucking lines. Yeah. <laughs> uh, except it, it's all about Kurtz going insane, right? Except Martin Sheen can see that, like, the whole fucking war is insane, and everyone's insane. So the question is, what does it mean to go insane Insane world. I just feel like with this film. Our film. With our film, right. It's kind of like we're trying to get inside your father's head. Except the deeper we get, we lose touch with what's real and what isn't. Okay, you lost me. <laughs> Basically, your father is mom, right? Except he didn't weigh half a ton. Right. <laughs> I mean, we can see that he's losing his mind, but there's still some semblance of logic to his insanity. So, what do we cut? We cut everything that doesn't directly pertain to your father's mental decline and eventual death. Such as? Such as everything related to how you were affected on a personal and emotional level. In English, Ben. We cut you out of the film. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs>
stick to the plan. Trust your instincts. You'll be fine. Okay. Just don't fuck it up. <laughs> I mean, I, I got a lot to do. Can I just call you back? A decision about what? 